All right, we've got Elizabeth Williams here. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, if you have a question for her, please raise your hand. I'll call on you. Spencer Nussbaum, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Uh, hey, Elizabeth. I mean, obviously a, a tough loss, but I was just wondering if you could give us your overall thoughts on the game. Yeah, I mean, I thought we we had a strong start. Uh, obviously, with them being shorthanded, we wanted to be really aggressive, especially in the post. They're obviously a different team with without BG in the paint um, and obviously Diana. Um, so, yeah, I thought we started off well, but the second half, we, we lost our rhythm a little bit and our momentum, and we, we weren't really able to get it back. And obviously the last play, like, it was unfortunate. Like, I'll take the blame for that, obviously, but we really shouldn't have even been in that position at the end of the game. Brandon Sudge, go ahead. Uh, hey, Elizabeth. Um, so kind of like taking tonight out of it, I mean, speaking of the new uh, – higher in the front office the developments that y'all have made over these last couple of weeks. I mean, can you speak on uh, where you believe this organization, this organization is headed um, and, and then as a free agent in this upcoming offseason, does everything that's gone on in terms of uh, building ahead, does that make you consider uh, coming back here? Yeah, I mean, I think, honestly, at this point, we can only go up. Um, obviously, we have a great hire in our new COO and, and president. Uh, she has great history in sports in Atlanta and, and overall. So we're really excited about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, from the new ownership to obviously we'll have a lot of changes come next season. So I'm optimistic that, you know, we'll move forward from this season and, and try to take the positives out of everything. Spencer, thank you. Yeah. I mean, after a loss like tonight, um, you're obviously one of the, the leaders and the veterans on this team. What is your message for the locker room? And then what is kind of just your gauge of the energy in the locker room right now? I mean, we just have to stick together. Uh, we've had, this isn't our first close loss, unfortunately. Um, so now it's just a matter of, of being mature and, and being professionals and finishing out the season really strong. Um, I know we've seen what we're able to do uh, when we play together and and play as a team. So the message right now is just to stay positive and stay together. All righty, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we've got Darius Taylor here. If you have a question for him, please raise your hand, I'll call on you. And Spencer, we'll start with you. Uh, hey, Coach, I was just wondering if you could give us your overall thoughts on the game and walk us through maybe what went wrong in the second half. Two different halves. Uh, first half, we played with energy. We moved the ball. We made extra passes. The second half, uh, we allowed them to, you know, get us stagnant. We stopped moving the ball. They trapped Courtney on every ball screen, and, and we just didn't get to the next actions quick enough. And then we also settled for jump shots when we should have kept attacking the rim. Um, and, you know, I got to do a better job of, you know, calling stuff late to get us something going. Um, but, you know, their switches and and how they played has really bothered us in the second half. And so we, we got to be better, uh, better with that. Brandon Sudge, go ahead. Hey, uh, Coach, I went on here the other night, but uh, congratulations on your uh, – First win the other night. Um, so kind of taking this game out of it, I mean, speaking about like all of the uh, development that, that you guys have made as a team over these last few weeks, um, the hire and the front office that was announced this morning, um, where do you feel like as somebody in the organization, where do you feel like this uh, – Rebuild, I guess, is headed, even though it might not 
even though it's something that, that doesn't uh, happen overnight. You know, it's a transition period. I, I think that, you know, the ownership has continued to support and provide resources. And I think people uh, can see that, you know, they're taking their time to uh, make sound decisions uh, for the organization to, to move it forward. And, you know, so they, you know, they, they have a good handle on, on things that they want to do and want to see and, and the growth that the organization needs to have to take place. So, you know, I think, like I said, they've been really supportive. They provided the resources and, you know, we just, you know, everybody has to be patient to, to allow things to just fall in place. Edwin Powell, go ahead. Coach, can you take us through that last play? Was that the shot you wanted or was there something else drawn up? Uh, yeah, the, the point was to get the ball to Courtney. Obviously, you know, they were going to switch, so she was going to have to look to attack it, you know, off the dribble, and, and we just tried to get the cleanest look we could. Um, you know, the play before that is just unfortunate. Um, you know, transition, we got the ball stopped, and we just ran ran into ran into Petty, and she makes three free throws. So, you know, we had the ball game still in hand, and just, you know, one mistake really, really – I mean, it's not just that mistake. We made a lot of mistakes down the stretch, but that one, you know, we just needed to to stop the ball and not give them any threes. And Spencer, back to you for the last question. Yeah, I mean, today and in the past, you've mentioned late game execution as something that the team really needs to improve upon. Um, how much of that do you see as your, you know, role as a coach in helping the team, you know, just execute late? And how much of that is just, as you were talking about about a week ago when you said the team might need, you know, a few more late game closers. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's all of us, you know, it's me as a coach putting us in position to get good shots. And it's also, you know, our players uh, continue to be aggressive and not, not getting stagnant um, and just, you know, holding the ball until we run into a, a ball screen, you know, cause that we got to move them side to side and us just setting middle ball screens, just a lot of allow them to load up in the paint and on the blocks and just force us to take outside shots. So um, it's twofold. You know, I got to do a better job of, of just getting us in and stuff that, uh, you know, get, gets us better shots. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you.